and you guys have had a chance to move around a little bit, so we'll come two feet hip width distance apart and start finding mountain pose here. Let your breath start to smooth out and start to become aware of your posture. We want the feet, all four corners of the feet grounded, hips over ankles, shoulders over hips, ears over shoulders, and palms face forward. Now, allowing your breath to deepen, opening up all the little energy centers of the body, clearing out as it goes through the body. Amazing what the breath can do. And let's draw up some energy from the earth, palms up. Hands come overhead, and now we're going to be releasing, so palms face down, and draw your hands through the center of your body, releasing anything that's not serving you right down into the earth. And do that a couple more times. Inhale. Exhaling down. And last time here, nice energy in, and whew, release anything that does not serve you. Let it go. All right, and come back to standing, and we'll do our spinal opening series. So go ahead, knees and hips are soft here. Arms out, fingers touch in front, and then keeping your arms long, open up and go forward and open. So moving through your cats and cows, be mindful of what the head is doing here, right? It might want to flop forward and back. Let it just follow your spine. And the next time your fingertips are forward, bring your palms to touch, bring your hands to heart center. Raise your fingertips up toward the sky. Inhale and release. Okay, take your feet slightly wider than hip width distance. We're going to let the knees and hips move naturally here as we open the sides with some connecting heaven and earth. So rub your hands together, get a little warm friction going. And then we're going to take the right arm up, palm facing up, left arm, palm facing down. Come back to center and up with the left, down with the right, connecting heaven and earth. And when your hands come to touch, maybe you'll still feel some of that energy you created when you were rubbing your palms together. Reaching up, lengthening through the right side here, and reaching up, lengthening through the left here. Right and left. Now we're going to go back to the right and stay there and really feel the energy coming through the palm of the right hand, down the right arm, and out through the palm of the left hand. And then come center and take it up to the left. Feel that energy going through you on the diagonal. Good. And bring it in. Shake out the arms. Okay. And we're going to start to knock on the door of life. So the feet are still wider than hip width distance. And we are taking our arms side to side, tapping. In front and behind. Behind is where the door of life is. Okay, getting our twist going on here. Let the arms come away from the body, starting to come up as they come toward the shoulder height. And now with a gentle fist, 
Do some immunity tapping right under your collarbone. And then let the arms start to come out again. And raising as high as you want them. Going side to side, yeah. And starting to come back down to shoulder height. A little more immunity tapping. Arms release. Heading down. Coming back to knocking on the door of life. Good, and then start to let your body stop and come center. Okay, inhale and exhale, and heel toe your feet together. Shake everything out, and we'll be heading down to the earth, okay? So let's come feet hip width distance apart at the top of your mat. We'll do a couple of forward folds first. Inhale, float the arms up, and with soft knees and hips, fold it forward and press through the feet, bring it up, take it down, fold it forward, pressing through the feet, bring it up and down, and up, and this time when you come down, stay down, bring your hands to the mat, and step back into a downward facing dog. Okay, so nice length in the spine for your down dog. Let's wake up the feet, Bend one knee and then the other, alternating, pressing the heels down. Press one heel down and hold. Press the other heel down and hold. Yeah. And press both heels down and hold. Now very mindfully, bringing the knees to the mat, sit off to the side and find seated mountain pose, sitting up nice and tall. So we come back to feeling the energy moving through the body, the feet are flexed, the spine is nice and long. Okay, we're going to draw up energy and elongate the spine on the way up and on the way down. So with palms out, inhale, float your arms up, turn your palms out, exhale, feel the spine continue to lengthen, the crown of your head is going closer to the sky. Inhale, draw up, super long spine. Exhale, arms down even longer. And inhale, arms up. Good, and let's exhale here. All right, shake the legs out. So we're going to start working on our dead bugs. Go ahead and bend your knees and roll down. All right, so everybody knows the dead bug. We're going to start with two feet on the mat and two arms up. Now take your right leg forward. Remember that heel is not touching and the uh, left arm is back. And then bring the right foot down, left arm up. Take your left leg forward, heel is not touching, right arm is back and in. Okay, we're going right leg, left arm and in left leg, right arm, and in. Okay, now we'll do it with the right knee lifted. Left foot is still on the mat. Right leg, left arm, and in. Remember, we're getting core and hip opening here. We'll do that again, and two more times for a total of four. And four and release. One thing to think about when you're doing your dead bug is staying very centered. So take your left knee, right arm up, okay? And, um, well, both arms, and then extend your left leg, right arm back, and notice if you're still centered on your hips and bring it center, okay? And then come out and back and two more times. And two, and release. Shake out those arms for a moment. We'll do it with two knees up. You can go back to one of the other versions if two knees up doesn't work well for you. We've got two knees up, two arms, 
right leg left arm, we're doing it four times on the right, and right leg left arm, check yourself for centering, right leg left arm, and one more time, and let's go left leg right arm, left leg right arm, and again, and one more time, and hug your knees in. Okay, so just raise a leg if you felt like you had to recenter and you could feel like how your core has to work a little harder to keep you centered. Okay, sometimes when you're working alternate sides, yeah, see your body's going to move side to side. All right, bring your feet down. We're going to do double leg versions now. Two legs, two arms, feet are down. Two legs forward, arms back and in. Remember you have options here. You can go back to single leg, back and in. Two more, out and in. And one more, out and in. All right, two legs up, two legs forward. This could put a strain on your lower back, so change it up if it's not working for you. Work with your feet down or alternate. We're going four times total. Take it out and in. Take it out and in. And three and in and four. And in, hug the knees in, and rock side to side. All right, so you can see what this is doing for the core <clears throat> and also how it's lubricating the hips and helping them as well. All right, so now we're going to take things side to side. Cross your hands over your chest, roll your shoulders and head up, and take your left shoulder towards your right side. It's not I'm going to reach the knee by any stretch. Just come down, shoulders and head up, keeping the uh, neck long, uh, right shoulder to left, and down. Everybody good with that? Let's roll it up, take it to the right, center and down, roll it up, take it to the left, center and down. Now take your right knee up. Let's see if there's any difference here. Take it up. Show, left shoulder to the right, center and down. Take it up, left shoulder to the right, center and down. And again, to the right. Oblique work here last time. And bring your right foot down, left leg up, take it up, right shoulder to the left center and down. You always have the option to bring your left foot down here if you felt that was better for you. And one more time, left, center and down. Now stretch everything long, give a little shake here, inhale and draw both knees in, okay? So we started working on the hips, and this is going to help release the hips a little more, just coming into Apanasana here. Inhale and exhale. Now bring your feet to the mat, hip width distance apart. Let your knees gently open and close. Bring some mobility to the hips that way. All right, and um, come back to hand, come to hands and knees now. So pad your knees if that's what works for you. Remember, you could have your hands on a chair or the wall here too, if hands and knees is not your best friend. Okay, we're going to make some rainbows now to finish opening the hips. So the wrist could either be right under the shoulders, the hands could be a little more forward. You could even be rest, uh, working on, it's not rest, working on your forearms for this, okay? And so find your table. We are taking the right leg back out to the right and then make a nice little rainbow. Take your right foot to the left 
and back over to the right. To the left and to the right. Nice rainbows here. Try and keep the rest of your body steady. Focus on the hip. And the next time your right foot is over to the left, leave it there and start to look past your left shoulder. See if you can spot your right foot behind you. All right, let's bring it back around. Right knee down and left leg back. Out to the left, rainbow over to the right. Back left and right. Yeah, keep going. You could be standing at a wall doing the same motion. You can even do the sitting on a chair. And the next time your left foot is over to the right, stay there. Take your gaze past your right shoulder. Find your left foot. All right, and come back to hands and knees. Let's get off those wrists for a moment. Shake them out. Inhale and exhale. All right. And um, we're going to just bring the arms way forward. Come into a knee down plank and bring your hips towards your heels. So we're just go moving through a gentle knee down plank, hips toward the heels, just to prepare to go into child's pose. Big toes together, knees apart, forehead is supported. Come into your child's pose. And then very mindfully float your way to a nice downward facing dog. Think about length here. Lengthen the spine. So let's bend both knees and press the tailbone back and up toward where the wall and the ceiling would meet and get that really nice length in the spine. Take another breath and take any journey that you like, bringing your feet to your hands. When you get them together, take your hands to your thighs, shine your heart forward, it's a half lift. Exhale, forward fold. Now we've been uh, doing a little bit of folding, so go where you're comfortable here. And then bring your hands back to your thighs and come back to your half lift. We're going to roll down back into a forward fold. Half lift. And forward fold. And now, because we've been down for so long, bring your hands to your hips. Come halfway up with a long spine. And then long spine, stand tall. And shake things out. So rather than just floating back up and possibly uh, getting a little dizzy doing that, okay? So let's um, come to the top of the mat and lengthen and strengthen everything with our sun salutations. Feet are hip width distance apart. Spine is long. Inhale and exhale. So you can start to feel how your energy is moving now. Find that grounding and float the arms up, inhale. Exhale, swan dive over straight legs. Bring your hands to your thighs, come back into that half lift. Now sink your hips down, hands come to the mat and step back with your right leg and hang out here in this nice lunge. You can move around a little bit, see how things feel. And then come into your knee up or knee down plank. Okay, you could be doing plank at the wall. You could do an air plank, right? Okay. Yeah. We're in plank. All right, and we chaturanga down to the mat here. 
inhale and exhale. So we'll work on some locust variations today. Bring your hands by your thighs, your feet are hip width distance apart, your gaze is to the mat. Okay, and now turn your palms to face up. So your palms are facing up. All right. Lift your palms, lift your heart without throwing your head back. Lift your front body into locust variation here and bring it down. Okay, we're going to lift the front body back up and take the right leg up. And release. And locust now, lift the front body and left leg up. Good, and release. All right, hands under the shoulders. Find your way back to downward facing dog. So remember your dogs can always be done on a chair at the wall. Inhale and exhale. Now remember those rainbows we made from table. We're going to make them from down dog. You could bring your uh, knee down if that was working better for you. So let's take, start on the right, take your right leg out to the right, up and over to the left, up and over to the right. Rainbows again. And the next time your right foot is over to the left, stay here, looking under your left arm, you'll spot your right foot, take it back up, and take a big step, whatever big is for you right now, forward with that right foot and find your way to the top of the mat. Take a half lift, let's forward fold and float the arms out and up, palms touch. And hands come heart center. Okay, everybody good to go for the next side, top of the mat, breathe. Inhale, float the arms up. Swan dive down. Take a half lift, sink the hips. This time it's back with the left leg into your lunge. Yes. All right, and spend a moment or two here, moving around. And then come into your plank. Okay, so knees up or knees down, what is going to work best for you right now? Now, if your knees are up, roll to the very tips of your toes here and then chaturanga down, okay? If your knees are down, just release down. And if you're standing, just work on your um, air plank. That's great too. All right, let's come back into those Locust variations, hands are by your side with the palms face up. And we're going to lift the palms, roll the shoulders down the spine as the heart lifts. Take the right leg up and release down. Roll up, left leg up and release down. Now, if you're standing, don't do this one. Two legs up, roll up. If you're standing, alternate one leg and then the other. And release. All right, go ahead and make a pillow with your hands. That was a lot of back bending. Rest your forehead on your hands, bend your knees, and let your legs move side to side. Yep, standing hips will move side to side. Just do something to release your spine a little bit. And then find your way to downward facing dog. Yep, nice long dog. Thinking about that. Inhale and exhale. Good. Now the left leg comes out to the left. Rainbow up and over to the right. Yes. And just go through that smoothly a few times. And keeping that left leg over to the right now as you look under your right arm to spot your left foot. Come back to center and take a nice big step forward with your left foot. And 
Come the rest of the way up to the top of your mat. Half lift, forward fold, and float the arms out and up, palms touch. And hands come heart center. Good, and we come back to mountain pose, breathing, inhale and exhale. So let's just shake things out. Be glad we're here, right? Everything's, everybody's feeling okay? Okay, all right. So we're going to um, do some triangle now and extend the sides a little more. So take your legs wide, turn your right toes forward, take your arms out, okay? So the legs are staying straight in triangle, the legs are wide and we reach and release yes reach and release we reach and release now reach 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 let your right hand drop anywhere on your leg that it belongs and take your left arm up inhale and exhale here so we're getting we have the shoulders stacked the heart is open the gaze could be to the toes to the center of your space or even to your left fingertips. Nice long stretch all the way down the left and come on up. All right, let's bring your hands to your hips. Keep your legs wide, left toes forward, arms out. We reach and release. It's reach and release. Reach and release. Now reach, 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 left hand down, right arm up. You're in a nice open triangle. Yeah, inhale and exhale. Deciding where to put your gaze, toes, center, right fingertips. Good, and come up. Bring your hands to your hips. Put your index fingers in your hip creases. Turn your toes forward and just come halfway down in a forward fold, and then decide if you're going deeper. You can let your hands slide down your legs, any amount. You might choose to be even higher in your forward fold. That's okay, too. Take a couple of breaths here. Bring your hands to your hips. Come halfway up, and come the rest of the way up. Let's heel toe, shake the legs out, give them a little break, and we're coming right back to that triangle. So. Legs are wide again, starting to the right. Right toes forward, arms out. Okay, legs are staying straight. We reach, reach, reach. Right hand down, left arm up. Okay, now we're going to take the left arm by the left ear. Yeah, okay, so depending on your shoulder, right, that might look a little different for you, and that's fine. And come on back up. We're going to stay on the right for a few moments here. Reach, reach, reach. Take the left arm by the ear and float the right arm up. There you go. And bring it up. Keep your arms up. And come back to your triangle here. Oh, yeah. And bring it up. Bring your hands to your hips. Index fingers to the hip creases, toes forward. Take your forward fold here. Now maybe you wanna to start to move around a little more in your forward fold. Bend one knee and then the other. That could feel pretty good. Letting those hips move side to side. If you're not down that low, you just have your hands on your legs and move around. Come back to center, okay? Come halfway up with a long spine. Come the rest of the way up. We're going to give the legs a break, shake them out. And come back to triangle on the left. So the legs are wide, toes are forward, arms are out. We reach, reach, reach to the left, left hand down, right arm up. And now that right arm comes by the right ear. Good, lift up. Staying on the left here. Come into triangle. Right arm by the ear. Left arm floats up. And reach up. 
And now core triangle to the left with long arms, take it over to the left. Nice, bring it up. Bring your hands to your hips. And once again, find a nice forward fold, a wide-legged forward fold that works for you. And now bring your hands to your hips, come halfway up, come the rest of the way up, and heel toe your feet together. Okay, grab your block. So what we're going to be doing, I'll just show you real quick, is we're going to have the block here with the hands on the block. You might decide you don't want the block, and we're going to be doing a little bit of elephant walking, bending one knee, then the other. Try it with the block. If your hands naturally come to the mat, then try it that way and see which way you like best. So let's stand up and take a breath here. Now that you've had kind of a preview, maybe a chance to try it, shake things out. Inhale up, long legs, swan dive forward, hands to the block, and bend one knee and then the other. So the feet are staying flat here. This is all in the back muscles of the legs here. And bend one knee and hold. Bend the other knee and hold. All right, bring your hands to your hips. Come halfway up, come the rest of the way up. Shake around a little bit. Okay, where'd you guys feel that? Did that feel pretty good? Nice stretch, right? All right, so this time, if you want to, if your hands come to the mat and you want to try it that way, try it that way. If you loved how it felt with the block, keep the block. Inhale up, exhale, swan dive. Remember the block also has a higher side, two higher sides. Um, so it's not that one way is the most excellent. It's the sensations that you're getting that feel like it's working for you. Take one leg straight and hold. Take the other leg straight and hold. Bend both knees, bring your hands to your hips, come halfway up, take a breath, and come the rest of the way up. Good, and just shake things out. All right, so keep your block nearby. We're going to be coming down to the earth in a minute, and we'll be doing uh, Vipari Karani, so we'll be um, having the hips on the block. If you don't like having your hips on a block, maybe you have a pillow or a blanket you can use to elevate your hips a bit. Okay, so just start to move around, get what you need, right? Shake it out. and then come to the top of your mat. Okay, so we're going to start working our way down here. Inhale, float the arms up. Exhale, swan dive. Oh, let's see how those hamstrings feel now. Take a half lift, sink the hips down, hands down. Step your way back to downward facing dog. You could be at the wall. You could also be in table. If your uh, knees are up, bend your knees to one side, hips to the other. If your knees are down somewhere, then just rock your hips side to side. It's all good. Bring your knees down, sit off to the side, and come to seated mountain pose. Spine is nice and long. Okay, and now we're just gonna take a minute here to do some soft forward folds so you can go at your own, own pace. Shake your legs out, softly float your arms up and melt. And then when you're ready, roll up and do it again. It doesn't matter how many times you do it in the minute. You're just going at your own pace. Right, 
and start to finish up. Coming back to seated here, bend at the knees and roll down to the earth. So you're going to have your block or your pillow or folded blanket handy. And let's start with the feet hip width distance apart. Inhale and exhale. And just do a couple of rolling gentle bridges here. Lift the hips, arms back, and roll down. And the next time you're up in your bridge, just hang here. Bring your arms back down by your side and see if you want to lift a little higher and roll back down. Okay, so now moving into Viparita Karani, either the lowest edge of your block or the alternative or nothing. If you already know that this doesn't work for you, but Usually elevating the hips is not a problem. And you can keep your feet down. You can bring your knees up or you can take your legs straight up. So we did a lot of forward folding. So now we're letting things go the opposite direction. Put the legs up. The feet are higher than the hips. Hips higher than the heart. And then slowly bend your knees, bring your feet back down. Carefully lift off your block and put it off to the side out of your way. Let your spine be in neutral right now as you open and close your fingers. We're just moving the fingers here and wiggle them in and out of a gentle fist. Rotate the wrists one direction and the other. And bring your hands down. Okay, let's take the legs together now, arms out to the side, out from the shoulders, and we're just going to gentle windshield wipers just let the knees sway side to side as the head starts to go opposite. And then bring yourself back to center. Extend your arms, extend your legs, inhale. Exhale, draw just your right knee in. Hold on to your shin or your hamstring. Okay, that left knee could bend if it wants to. We are just holding in on the right. And from here, point and flex your right foot. And circle the ankle one direction. And the other. And release right leg. Arms long, legs long, inhale, exhale, draw the left knee in. Left leg comes in, you're holding on. And point and flex. Circle one direction. And the other. All right, now extend both arms and both legs and bring both knees in. Take this to a happy baby and move around any way that feels good to you. Rock. And then come back to center, release your feet down to the mat, hip width distance apart, hands by your side. Let your knees gently open and close. Think about little butterfly wings happening here. And 
bring your knees back to center and take a moment to see how things feel, locate how your energy is moving, and start to check in with your body. What moves are left that the body is requesting? Or maybe it's just a realignment. Maybe you're already happy. So just move around until you have found a place, knees bent or legs straight. You could even be sitting on a chair, okay? And find a place where you can be that you don't feel like you have to move or particularly do anything for the next few moments. Come into your final relaxation position. Take a moment to notice any sensations in your body, right? Maybe tingling, maybe smoothness. What's it for you? Inhale through the nose. And slowly exhale as you let your body just melt onto the earth. Just release. Be at peace in your final relaxation. Now slowly begin to bring your awareness back to your space. Invite a deeper breath. Bring movement back. Gently wiggle your fingers and toes. And then as you inhale, extend your arms and legs long. Exhale, draw your knees in. Give yourself a hug. Find your way over to a side and back up to a nice easy seat. As you turn your gaze to your own good heart and your bright spirit, thank and honor yourself for your practice and we thank and honor each other for sharing this time. Namaste.